My name is Edelise Baez, and I'm a sales engineer at Progress Software. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the DataDirect ODBC Apache Spark driver to connect to your favorite BI tool. On the center of my screen, I have the current landing page for our preview program for the Apache Spark SQL ODBC and JDBC drivers. If you scroll to the bottom of this page, you will find four helpful tutorial videos on downloading the Hortonworks 2.2 sandbox, downloading and configuring the Spark software, as well as installing and configuring either the ODBC or JDBC Spark SQL drivers on Windows. I have the Hortonworks sandbox with Hadoop 2.2.4, and configured on this Hadoop instance is the Spark SQL environment that is listening to the port 10001. I can now open up the ODBC data source administrator in order to configure my DataDirect ODBC Spark SQL connection. I have entered the host name that is associated with my Hadoop environment and the port number that is 10001, which is the port number that my Spark SQL environment is running on. I can now do a test connection and I see that the connection is established. First, I'm gonna open up Tableau and show you how to integrate this connection in Tableau. You click on the other database ODBC and look for your connection in the dropdown. Mine is Spark32. You'll click connect and then click OK. You are now able to search for the tables that you have on your Hadoop instance. I have found some compelling Star Wars survey data that I have put on my Hadoop instance. We can take a look at that here. When it comes to Spark SQL, you are most likely interested in fast performing queries. So I'm gonna start a performance recorder so that we can take a look at how complicated the queries are and the time it takes for our driver to connect you to Spark SQL and connect you to Hadoop. The first thing that I want to take a look at is the number of people that said that they were fans of the Star Wars film franchise. So I'll pull that column up. I'm going to want to do a count of the people that responded. We can now see that 552 people said that they are fans of the franchise, 284 said that they are not fans of the Star Wars film franchise, and 350 respondents did not answer this question. I lastly want to take a look at where each of these episodes ranked based on people responding to being a fan of the franchise or not a fan. So I'm going to exclude the people that did not respond. make sure that each of these measures are set as an average. And then I'm going to place the average rank of each episode. And I want it to be grouped by people that said they were fans of this Star Wars film franchise versus not fans. They had to rank these films in order of one being their favorite film and six being their least favorite. So the lower the score, the better. Both fans and non-fans favored episode five with a 2.3 or a 2.86 for non-fans. Let's stop the performance recording and take a look at how long each of these complicated queries took. We can see that this query that took 7.21 seconds has an average set across each of the rankings, a count for the respondent IDs, and a filter where they are excluding the people that did not respond to whether or not they were fans. Another BI tool you may be using is MicroStrategy. And for MicroStrategy, all you have to do is click on the Add New Data, click on Pick Tables for the database, and then you can click Add Data Source. And you'll want to select DSN Data Source, and from here you will find the Spark SQL data source that you created in the ODBC administrator. You will want to select generic database and then put the username and password. I can now 
now select the default database within Hadoop and drag over the Star Wars table. I'm going to choose a live connection. I can now see the same Star Wars table data that we were looking at in Tableau in my MicroStrategy BI tool. I can ask the question, who knew the answer to which character shot first? And we can take a look at the count of who answered Greedo, Han, or I don't understand this question. These are just two small examples of integrating your Hadoop and Spark SQL environments through DataDirect's ODBC Spark SQL driver to your favorite BI tool. For more information, visit the DataDirect website. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.